Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part three of the lesson on implicit differentiation and in this video I'll be going through an example of finding a normal to a curve using implicit differentiation. Uh, so here we have a curve C has equation 5x squared plus 2y squared minus 3xy equals 7x plus 6. Find the equation of the normal to the curve C at the point 2, 3. Writing your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay. So finding the equation of a normal, what do we need to find the equation of a straight line? We need two things. We need a point, we have that, and we need the gradient. And to find the gradient, we need to differentiate the function. So let's write it out there. We've got 5x squared plus 2y squared minus 3xy equals 7x plus 6. So again, as in the previous video, I've got this function here, 3xy, which I would have to differentiate using the product rule. We did that in the previous video, uh, so I'm just going to jump straight to the result of that when I do this one. So 5x squared is going to differentiate to 10x. 2y squared will differentiate to 4y dy dx, remember we get that dy dx term because we're differentiating a function of y in terms of x. Uh, and then that's going to be minus, in a bracket, 3y plus 3x uh, dy dx, just as it was in the uh, previous example, uh, which I've got saved there. Uh, looking at the right hand side now then, 7x will differentiate to 7, and the constant term 6 will differentiate to 0. Tidying this up then, because I'm subtracting those two terms, we've got 10x plus 4y dy dx uh, minus 3y minus 3x dy dx equals 7. Uh, and I'm going to look to make dy dx the subject of this so that I can evaluate the gradient of the curve at the point I've been given. So, uh, leaving the dy dx terms on the left hand side then, I've got 4y dy dx uh, minus 3x dy dx uh, equals 7 minus 10x plus 3y. Factorising out that dy dx term on the left hand side, it's going to give me in my bracket 4y minus 3x and the right hand side remains unchanged 7 minus 10x plus 3y and then dividing through by that bracket I get my expression for dy dx to be 7 minus 10x plus 3y all over 4y minus 3x so that's an expression for the gradient at a point on a curve. Uh, I now need to substitute in my value for x and my value of y to find the value of the gradient at that point on the curve. So the point I was given uh, was the point 2, 3. So I'm going to be substituting in x is 2 and y is 3 into my expression for dy dx. Uh, so 7 uh, minus 10 lots of 2 plus 3 lots of 3, uh, all over 4 lots of 3, minus 3 lots of 2, right, which is going to give me 60, so it's going to give me negative 4 uh, over 12 lots of 6, uh, so dy dx, the value of the gradient at that point on the curve, is going to be negative 2 thirds. Now, crucially, that's going to be the gradient of the tangent, isn't it? I've been asked for the equation of the normal, so what I'm going to need to do is take the negative reciprocal uh, of that value there to get that the perpendicular gradient is going to be 3 over 2. And I'll just remind myself at this point that it's passing through the point 2, 3. Then all that remains to be done is to crack out the general equation of a straight line, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, uh, so y minus 3 is going to equal 3 over 2, lots of x minus 2. 
multiplying through by 2, I'm going to get 2y minus 6 equals 3x uh, minus 6, uh, which is uh, multiplying 3 there by the negative 2. Uh, and what that means is that if I move everything to the right-hand side to keep the x positive, uh, then I would have 3x minus 2y, and adding the 6 would cancel out. So the value of a would be 3, and the value of b would be negative 2. So there we go. I was asked to find the equation of a normal. Uh, I found dy dx in terms of both x and y, substituted in my coordinate, remembering to take the negative reciprocal for a normal, and put it into the general equation for a straight line. Join me in the next video where I'll be looking at turning points of this type of function.